Um, yeah, so apparently we are live. Anybody can hear us? <laughs> okay. Okay, it's. Uh, seems okay, no? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So maybe we'll start uh, by presenting ourselves. So my name is Benjamin. I'm working on the last uh, and uh, I'm a producer and game designers. And, and I'm uh, Victor, and uh, I'm uh, also a game designer on the spell. Okay, so yeah, and uh, recently you've been recently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's been uh, one month, two, uh, two? two months. Yeah. Two months, yeah. So yeah, it joined uh, at the beginning of the work on this update. So yeah, we we worked uh, um, together on this update, and uh, Rob Robin and uh, Thomas work, uh, are working uh, on the next update. So we'll talk uh, today about the new update. Uh, Oh, okay. So uh, Bruno showed me to <laughs> the volume of the game. Uh, it seems everybody is. Every... I don't know. How. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if there is a problem, uh, Bruno will return. Uh, okay, so maybe you can start the game, I think. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh, maybe we can show Steam on this screen. Oops. <laughs> um. We can't... Uh... Hmm. Oh yeah, we are tuning the volume to be uh, perfect. <laughs> I think there is some problem. Il y a pas tout. Bah on n'entend pas ce jeu. Je l'ai entendu ce matin. Non, on n'entend pas. Je ne sais pas si un téléphone se lève. Ok. T'as pas touché à la spada Non, non, non. Ok. Ok. Uh, so apparently there will be no sound. Uh, it's not uh, that bad. Ok, so yeah, maybe yeah. you can uh, start. So yeah, we are playing on a little bit advanced uh, save. So we are at uh, day 3. Yeah. Actually, we, uh, we will play the night 4 and uh, the night 5. Um, so yeah, we just played and uh, put some building there and there <laughs> and uh, yeah. try to do something uh, cool for this demo. So yeah, maybe you can uh, position your heroes because there is... Yeah, because they are... Yeah, they are not, they're uh, not in the room. Well <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, this side uh, seems more... Uh, like put, that. Yeah, I, I think it's... Cool. Um, yeah, yeah, I think we uh, are great. So yeah, you, okay. can, you can start. And uh, yeah, before, so before, yeah, before starting, yeah, you can just show. <laughs> yeah, so we have an upcoming wave with uh, quite a bit of new enemies. We have the blocker here, uh, the hopper, and the hunter. So uh, we will be able to see them, showcase them uh, right now. Yeah, we had a little chance <laughs> for this wave. <laughs> Yeah, here they are. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the upper take, took uh, damage. So, yeah, maybe you can explain uh, what happened uh, with the hopper uh, from the north. <laughs> yeah, uh, so the hopper is a new enemy which has uh, quite a, a lot of, uh, quite a bit of different skills uh, and so one of them that you just saw uh, is uh, that he can they can buff uh, nearby enemies uh, with resistance so here 
he gave resistance to his claw. And uh, so, yeah, that's going to make the knight a little more tougher. Uh, you, you will have to try to yeah, you... eliminate the enemies. And so, for example, here, if I try to eliminate this claw, uh, you can already see uh, the effect. Uh, yeah, yeah, there is some resistance. So yeah, we have uh, a lot of momentum, so <laughs> it's not yeah. a problem. But uh, yeah, the enemy is buffed. And actually, we uh, we tested this uh, behavior uh, on the Guardian uh, from the Glenvan calling update, and uh, it's well, it was quite uh, interesting. Uh, players seems to like uh, this kind of tactics so yeah with the opera we try to uh, repeat this behavior and uh, yeah he's pitting his acid on enemies and on heroes and uh, there is some different effect uh, if uh, he touch a hero or an enemy yeah but we will see probably next <laughs> turn yeah okay. um yeah you yeah we can talk about uh, the blocker also uh, yeah. there is one uh, here uh, next to the upper, uh, maybe it's not the best. So you can uh, maybe go to the south, uh, the yeah. east, west. Oh, no, no, maybe we. we... It's not uh, the best because uh, yeah, there is uh, one particular uh, behavior. It's the blocker are blocking the line of sight. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> uh, there is not enough enemies uh, to see this uh, behavior for now. So maybe you can uh, yeah, play you the can, turn and uh, yeah, you can see. see it a bit here. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> <Really> it'll be <laughs> clearer uh, at, uh, once we pass the turn. Yeah. Uh, so maybe I yeah, can yeah, eliminate you can, uh, a few enemies oh, before. <laughs> so yeah, the opera have uh, a big explosion and uh, yeah, may maybe you can uh, show his behavior. Or, yeah, so when they die, hoppers will explode into a burst of acid, and uh, it actually does the same thing as uh, their buff. So they will. You, you have to be careful not to kill them while they are uh, too close to too many enemies. Uh, otherwise, you're going to buff uh, way too many enemies. So be a little careful with that. Yeah, I see the chat, those operas are pure nightmare. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> that, that was a kind of a goal for us. <laughs> but yeah, they, they, are, um, they have uh, a little elf, so it's easy to kill them, but uh, it can be uh, tactics because you have to, yeah, with uh, his uh, effect on death. So we saw that uh, his acid has spread all of our enemies and now they are all buffed so yeah you have to choose carefully when to uh, kill this uh, this monster uh, to uh, yeah to avoid uh, all the the buff uh. <laughs> so yeah uh, for the blockers i think here is yeah that's what we wanted to to show. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, now they can block the line of sight, and it, it's pretty effective, uh, <laughs> as we can see. They yeah, are very. Uh, so yeah, maybe we should have a bit uh, a watchtower on this side <laughs> to avoid this problem. But yeah, if you kill him, uh, it will be all good. Yeah. And uh, then we can see uh, the big guys over there with their big guns. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, to to a new special monster hunter, you can maybe explain. Uh, yeah. So the hunter is um, one of the new enemies, um, and uh, yeah. So what we wanted to do was to endanger the uh, backline heroes a bit, so create some more tension, uh, especially for heroes that are just camping in, in uh, watchtowers. And uh, so one of the ideas we had was to make a very long range uh, that could hit and target, uh, tries to target backline heroes. Yeah. And so that's what they do. Uh, one of the main problems with that was the big range is very, uh, can be very dangerous and punishing. And so counteracts that made an attack. Yeah, 
<laughs> and uh, I have the older <laughs> Decrease the volume, uh, I think it's at 10? No? Uh, yeah. You can hear what you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I think it's better. Uh, yeah. Let me just. Okay, 25 is good. Yeah, 25 uh, is good. Okay. So okay. okay. I, I try to just. Yeah, this way. Okay, so now maybe you can start again your explanation about the enter, or I don't know where. Yeah, I don't People know when, uh, you, stop the when you started <laughs> yeah, right. not hearing us, but yeah, so the hunter to, so we tried to make them not too punishing, so uh, in order to do that we made an attack that takes two turns to to do, uh, and so for that we have one of the new mechanics of this, of this update is uh, the charge mechanic, uh, where uh, an enemy will take one turn to charge an attack and the next turn will unleash a, a special attack that can only be done if they have charged. Yeah, it's a pretty common uh, behavior. I think it's a tactical game, but uh, yeah, we we didn't have the time to test uh, this and uh, for this update, uh, we thought it was uh, the, right time, uh, the right time to test this and uh, yeah, we will see if uh, it's working well, but I think it's uh, it added a new depth of uh, tactics uh, in the game, mm -hmm. like, uh, oh, this an enemy is uh, charging, maybe I, I don't want to uh, kill him now, or, or maybe uh, it's uh, really uh, fright, uh, frightening, so mm -hmm. you want to kill him now. Yeah, uh, a lot of tra strategies. Yeah. And uh, as we can see, I don't think you mentioned it, but uh, he loses all the, his uh, move points when he's done. Uh, yes. Yeah, so. He, he will gain the status charge and then uh, lose uh, his move point. Yeah, so that's one of the ways to uh, counterplay uh, the enemy. It's uh, once they have charged, uh, you know they will not move, uh, they, they cannot move anymore. Uh, so you can either kill them, eliminate them before they attack, or maybe you can also get out of their line of sight. Uh, so there's, there's a few. Uh, strategies once you, when you encounter them uh, to not get focused by them. Yeah. Uh, so I will answer a question from the chat. Uh, how much time did you can play? Uh, <laughs> how much time did the game spend uh, in uh, EA right uh, now? Uh, so it's been uh, a little less uh, six months. I think. Yeah, we are, uh, we released uh, the game in June uh, and we are in December. So yeah, six months. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, I will let you play. <laughs> there is a lot of monster on this uh, side. But, uh, we have a great uh, melee hero right, right there. And I think you can make a propagation with uh, this guy. Uh, he has a Tom, uh, Tom of Secrets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, he has. Uh, maybe you can. Uh, uh, move your hero because he will uh, be yeah. touched with the uh, it can be fun but uh, <laughs> yeah it's good uh, are any DLCs planned uh, for now no we are we are just focusing on finishing the game and uh, after that uh, we will see uh, if uh, we have uh, ideas or if uh, people want the DLC uh, we'll see <laughs> Yeah, so maybe we can talk a bit about uh, the uh, new... Yeah, news. the new display, yeah, maybe. So uh, before going into the new one system, uh, we can uh, talk about the quality of life we added to them. So a lot of players uh, didn't uh, see this system, the one system. It was a little bit hide in the interface. So if you click on the monster uh, and show, uh, yeah, it was a little uh, blood drop that actually uh, shows this system. So the system is when an enemy uh, has uh, passed, uh, I don't know how to say it, uh, uh, falls under a certain 
thresholds, yeah. the threshold of health, yeah. yeah. And uh, they will uh, gain some malus, uh, and that will help you to uh, contain the the hold. And uh, yeah, and now they are displayed uh, in the interface of the world, so you can see uh, this blocker has uh, two droplets of uh, blood, and uh, yeah, that means that he is badly wounded and uh, it will uh, have some maluses. Yeah. Um, so yeah, now it's not uh, hidden, it's all uh, always deployed and uh, you don't have to ask yourself, uh, oh, is this enemy is wounded or not? Uh, there is a uh, the little uh, uh, drop uh, of blood. Uh, yeah. I can tell you this. And uh, maybe you can uh, expand the explanation to the whole uh, uh, yeah, the rework. So, uh, yeah. Uh, and not only did we enhance the, the the display of the feature, it was the goal was also to uh, rework it a bit and to expand the system to make it more uh, strategic and, and interesting. And so, for that, we now have uh, custom wounds for each enemy. So, for example, here uh, the blocker will lose a block uh, when they are wounded. Uh, but for example, uh, if we take uh, the okay. armored or yeah. any other enemy, uh, they will uh, lose armor when they are wounded. So that's for the basic enemies, but the more uh, we go towards special enemies, uh, the more special the wounds become. So for example, uh, the hopper uh, will not be able to use one of their uh, abilities anymore. Uh, or if I take uh, the hunter, uh, they will lose damage but gain critical power, uh, meaning they will uh, deal less damage on average, but still can deal quite quite a bit of damage uh, when they uh, do a critical hit. Yeah, this rework is really cool because we can be more creative in our way to designing enemies. Like custom ones uh, give us a lot of liberties. For example, uh, the bulky. Uh, now, when they reach uh, their uh, level 2 of uh, Wounded, uh, they will uh, gain a buff in move point and uh, damage, so you will have to uh, be careful uh, to, uh, <laughs> to these enemies. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and we try to... Uh, so, basic enemies like, uh, uh, like flowers, uh, blockers, uh, have uh, really... Uh, simple uh, effect and uh, as uh, Victor said the more proper, powerful the enemy is uh, the more the wound will, will be special yeah. Um, so yeah I will read the question uh, do you have a release date in mind uh, so not for now we wanted to yeah uh, when we launched uh, in June, uh, it was uh, like uh, one year uh, of uh, early access, but we will see uh, how it goes uh, at the beginning of the year. Mm. Uh, next question. Can ranged enemies still shoot after just having emerged from the mist? Uh, no, actually it was fixed in the in the previous version, I think. Uh, maybe for Gunval calling, so now there is there are conditions that we can uh, tweak. Like for example, uh, how many turns uh, did you have to uh, to wait until he uh, can use a skill? Uh, so yeah, it uh, should not be the case uh, with the. I think it was the prime was with the the archer. Uh, uh, yes, and maybe also the bulky stone. Yeah, yeah, the bulky stone uh, <laughs> yeah. directly from. Uh, yeah, yeah, so this behavior is not uh, the case anymore. Mm. Um, just take as much time as you need. Uh, you're great, doing a great job. Uh, keep doing that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> really uh, warm words are very cool. Oh, you missed. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, but yeah, better range. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> but, uh, oh, and yeah, we, we saw you uh, take uh, took uh, damage poison damage oh, from yeah. the, the frog. Yeah, we didn't mention yeah, yeah. that. But, uh, I forgot about that. <laughs> so yeah, actually, that's the other skill from uh, hoppers. 
Oh, I don't know what to, to show here. But yeah, their uh, attack, the, their attacks deal uh, like 5 damage, but they have a special effect on them, which is uh, inflicting poison to the heroes. And um, while it's only a very a weak poison, uh, only 5 damage per, per turn, uh, it can very quickly become uh, very dangerous because uh, poison outpasses uh, armor, resistance, everything. Yeah, it's uh, direct for you to your so, HP. Yeah, it's direct damage to your HP, so yeah. And so what we can show directly is uh, because we wanted players to be able to counteract that, uh, we now have um, a few items in the game that allow to uh, remove negative status effects. Yeah. Um, so yes, here for example, uh, on this uh, character, I have uh, the Holy Ring, uh, which now has the skill Cleanse, uh, which uh, for free mana uh, removes any negative uh, alteration from the target. So for example, here I am afflicted with poison, and uh, I can use this spell to uh, remove the poison. Yeah, and you, you can uh, actually uh, use this skill on other heroes with uh, yeah. this trinket. Uh, so it's pretty neat. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty neat. And so, yeah, it's uh, not only for poison, you can also use it to remove uh, the move point uh, debuff from, yeah. the, the, from archer. the archers. Or even, but that's uh, tougher, but you can remove uh, the stun from the bulky from uh, another hero. Yeah. So if you manage to do that, it's quite a lot of value. But uh, <laughs> you'll see if you manage to pull it, out, pull it off. <laughs> Um, so yeah, and uh, one thing we, for we forgot to, to mention about the wounds uh, is that they are dynamic. Uh, it's depending on the health total of the enemy. Hmm. So uh, the more enemy, the all F more health points the enemy have, uh, the, the more it will be difficult to wound them. For example, the bulky. Uh, uh, have a very uh, high threshold uh, to uh, wound him, and uh, yeah, that's uh, another layer of depth for this mechanic. And uh, actually, it's pretty useful for heroes because uh, when you will build your heroes in health, uh, it will suffer uh, less from the wounds. And uh, yeah, that's uh, I think that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so I don't know if yeah we, we don't really have uh, heroes <laughs> with a, with big health differences, but uh, yeah you you can notice that um, uh, if you build a hero with a lot of health, uh, the little wounded icons will slowly go more towards uh, the left side of the health bar, meaning uh, the more HP you have, the more difficult it will be to be wounded. Yeah. So if you don't like wounds, uh, you can always build uh, a lot of health on your heroes. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we change the effect on the heroes uh, for the wounds. Like uh, before, it was a malus on uh, the damages. Now it's just a malus on action point. It's pretty inconvenient, but I think it's uh, less frustrating uh, than uh, before. Uh, just quick answers from the chat. So is there something on UI that show when the wound happens? So yeah. Uh, as we said, there is a little uh, blood drop. Uh, this yeah. is the right world, yeah? Yeah, a or something <laughs> like that. Yeah, <laughs> so we can see this on the clovers uh, here. Uh, this means that uh, uh, it's the level 1 of uh, wound, and yeah. if he's uh, badly wounded, there will be two drops of blood uh, on his interface. Yeah. And uh, we, you, when you click on the enemy, you can uh, hover on uh, this uh, blood uh, drop to uh, see you know the effect. What it does, yeah. yeah. So I will continue uh, with the question: uh, Any melee weapon improvement plan further down the line? So, yeah, I think we are working on that. Uh, always working on that. We are not just uh, increasing the damage. We are just. Uh, uh, Trying to find solution to, uh, I think, uh, I don't know how to say it. Uh, yeah, we are not increasing uh, the melee, but maybe nerfed a little bit the magic and range uh, by designing uh, some mechanics that can uh, make them a little tougher to play. For example, the hunter. 
is a counter to uh, to uh, range heroes. Uh, now you can't just hide behind your walls because uh, hunters will uh, shoot you, and uh, yeah, it can be pretty uh, pretty dangerous. So yeah, we are trying to balance uh, the free gameplay uh, gameplay uh, so magic, uh, range, and uh, melee by uh, doing all of that kind of stuff, not just uh, touching the skills uh, or the damage. Uh, we did that for the Glenval calling update, but uh, yeah, for this update we uh, didn't uh, touch uh, the damage of the skills, but uh, yeah, we tried to uh, design mechanics to uh, to uh, make the challenge tougher for range uh, range heroes and magic heroes. Yeah. So and another another enemy that uh, is a problem to uh, ranged heroes is the blocker, for example. Yeah. Uh, so one thing uh, that's pretty neat about the blocker is it kind of um, brings a strategic problem that the melee weapons have, which is, uh, oh, I want to cast spells but uh, on this or that target, but there's another enemy in front of me. That, uh, so I can do that. Do I kill this enemy or do I move around the enemy? And uh, so you had that only with uh, melee weapons, but now with the blockers, you kind of have uh, the same problem to deal with uh, with ranged heroes because they it's the same thing. Like, oh, I have this blocker. Uh, do I eliminate it or do I reposition myself uh, to be able to hit uh, somewhere else? Uh, something like that. So I hope it's uh, it, it should be pretty interesting to to play yeah. uh, against. Uh, so another question. Uh, hey guys, uh, opt in to say uh, what your game is awesome. Uh, thank you. And to ask if there is any plans for new songs. Uh, so uh, big news, yes, <laughs> there is plan for new songs. Uh, it should uh, arise for the next update, uh, I think, or the uh, next next. <laughs> So yeah, uh, I can't say more, but uh, yeah, it's planned. And uh, that zombie at the center hat, yeah, <laughs> you, you found uh, our little surprise for uh, for Christmas. <laughs> so yeah, we, we saw in, there was uh, one. I, I didn't even notice it, but yeah, I think. Oh, <laughs> we just killed it. <laughs> killed Santa. All right. Yeah, the, the knight is going pretty well. Oh, the yeah. hunter uh, shoot at you. So yeah, if uh, the hunter is too close to you, he will use uh, his uh, normal shoot. Yeah, his normal uh, attack. Normal is, attack. Yeah. Uh, actually, compared to his uh, special attack, it deals uh, well, twice only less, uh, yeah twice as uh, half the damage. And so that's another strategy if you. Uh, if you want to counter them, but be careful because um, the hunters will always target, uh, uh, try to target uh, heroes that are far away from them. So, for example, if I go into melee range uh, with my melee hero, uh, but that my uh, mage is far away, they will try to target the mage. So, yeah. be careful with that. <laughs> so, 22 enemies left. Yeah. Yeah, I hope uh, you are very excited about uh, these all new enemies. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, this side uh, is almost cleared. Yeah. So uh, don't hesitate if you, if you have question uh, on Steam on your, or on uh, Twitch. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> we forgot uh, to show something. Uh, maybe we talk about that uh, the next night. Uh, <laughs> little button here. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that's why uh, maybe we, we can talk about now about it now because the, the, uh, yeah yeah there is not a lot of enemies but we can we can uh, talk about it. Yeah. yeah so uh, if you so if you want to uh, gain also so not waste too much time. Yeah. Uh, 
when you're we, doing uh, so, some nights that can become long. Yeah, and you that know, you know, RPGs. Uh, when you play the lot, you you just want to skip uh, all, and uh, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, and so yeah, for for some players that have witnessed the nights uh, countless amounts of time. So yes, we now have uh, a turbo mode. Uh, so if you if you want the nights to go a bit uh, quicker, because for example, it's the first or the second night, and uh, it's your hundred run of <laughs> the <laughs> spell and so yes you can activate this mode and uh, everything gets quicker and so everything is faster yeah. so, so it takes uh, less time players uh, ask us to uh, accelerate the enemy turns but uh, we did we did it and we did it also for the uh, hero turn so if you can turn on the speed of mode and play like that yeah. it's uh, totally fine and uh, yeah so maybe screen shakes are a little bit uh, tough, so you can uh, turn them on, on and off uh, in the option. Yeah. You, you can also yeah. uh, change the speed, so if you want it to go <laughs> super fast, you can, but uh, yeah. we recommend uh, even for something that's uh, just nice and not too quick, maybe you can put it in mode uh, yeah. times two or something three like that. Or three, uh, yeah, yeah, I think and if so. you want to have more control over it, you can also put it on uh, hold. hold activation. And so that means, for example, you can uh, every time you press the, the, space bar. the space bar or any other button that you assign, uh, you can speed up the game. So that's just if you want to speed up very specific. Uh, yeah, for example, parts of the you game. can uh, maybe uh, increase the yeah, and uh, and you can uh, launch your skill. When you launch your skill, you can uh, press uh, space uh, to just yeah. accelerate uh, this uh, part of the game and uh, just uh, yeah. So uh, you can customize uh, as you want uh, this option. Uh, yeah, you, we we really like to design an uh, option like this uh, <laughs> and make them uh, the most uh, customizable. Yeah. Mm. And, okay. Uh, yeah. Th thank so. you, Woodfist, uh, for your kind words. Uh, it's uh, really cool. <laughs> so yeah, we we finished the night. Uh, so yeah. Uh, S rank. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> also, we play with 100% uh, uh, completion uh, save, so, yeah, it's, so uh, it's, it's pretty easy. Uh, <laughs> easy. So yeah, and yeah, uh, one other small thing to uh, fasten up the game uh, is to the skip animations button. Yeah. So uh, you can yeah here I just did it. <laughs> <laughs> you skipped all of the animation and uh, all the rewards are already uh, uh, taken, and uh, you just uh, have to. They can continue. And yeah, so yeah, you don't even have to take the rewards, no. they are already taken, and yeah, so oh, yeah. <laughs> I think uh, the hardcore players will uh, like this uh, option. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, maybe you can uh, take all the rewards uh, and do your level ups exactly. So, so yeah, um. One thing we can show uh, when uh, in this uh, character sheet is uh, something we did uh, another quality of life. So it's the hide uh, helmet uh, quality of life. So here there is a, a little button uh, um, next to the helmet, and uh, it allows you to hide the helmet. Uh, yeah. Next, <laughs> so, option said. So yeah, if you want to see your cool uh, customized character or something like that, you can always disable the helmet, helmet and see their, yeah. their beautiful face. Yeah, and uh, it's uh, yeah, it was uh, something uh, a lot of players asked because when you we released uh, the updates for customization, hero customization. Uh, yeah, <laughs> your helmet will, would hide uh, all the the work you've done. So now you can customize and uh, turn off uh, the helmet to see uh, your beautiful uh, heroes. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, we have the hmm. yeah, hero. The dismiss, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that's a very specific feature. Uh, I don't know if a lot of players will use it, but it's there if you want to use it. Uh, you can now dismiss heroes if 
<laughs> you want to? Yeah, so. you, you can click uh, if you want. Uh, there is another confirmation. Uh, yeah, so uh, it will. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, don't be scared to click on it, but uh, <laughs> maybe don't dismiss uh, <laughs> yeah, your will. heroes too much. But if you want uh, a challenge or if uh, yeah, experiment another uh, hero is interesting in the tavern, but you don't have the gold to upgrade it or something like that, you can dismiss one of your heroes and uh, then take the new hero from the tavern or something like that. So in some cases it can be interesting, so it's always better to uh, give the option to the players. Um, yeah, so uh, Garwood... Uh, yeah, cool, yeah, I, I hope you will like all the new things. And uh, yeah, we, we launched uh, the beta for... Uh, it's the first time we did a beta for uh, for this update and we will uh, do another one for the next update uh, we really liked uh, to to do that because uh, we had uh, some feedbacks uh, for the gameplay or, or bugs and uh, yeah uh, the, uh, this version is pretty stable uh, thanks to that and uh, yeah it's uh, pretty neat mm -hmm. um, by the way you change that injured enemies have impaired movement or did i just notice before um, I don't mm. uh, no, I think uh, so. Um, enemies always had uh, injuries that removed movement. Uh, so what changed this in, in this update is uh, it's easier to see, obviously, <laughs> uh, and uh, also uh, some enemies, uh, especially the more late game enemies uh, that will, you will encounter starting night five and so on uh, don't always have um, injuries that remove move points yeah. so it's more the basic enemies so like claws armored uh, right dodgers now. and runners mm. uh, they all have the same type of uh, injury that removes uh, move points uh, and some other stats but uh, the other enemies have more specific uh, injuries yeah So maybe you can uh, go to the shop, uh, yeah. there is a new feature uh, for this update, so it's not, uh, uh, so yeah, it's not thematic with the update uh, enemies, it's just a little quality of life again uh, and a new mechanic, so it's the river option. Mm. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the button is always there at the beginning, uh, so yeah, you don't have to unlock it uh, on the oraculum, at the oraculum. And uh, yeah, what it does, uh, pretty. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it rerolls the shop. Yeah, uh, yeah. You, you can you can maybe uh, just once. So yeah, we we saw that the price uh, has uh, increased, and uh, yeah, you can do it. Uh, um, the yeah, <laughs> as, as you, many as times as you want. Yeah, yeah, it I, just becomes. Uh, <laughs> more expensive, time, uh, more and expensive. there is, uh, I think, it's. Uh, 50 gold uh, the maximum price but yeah, yeah paying uh, 50 gold for just rearing uh, it's yeah. <laughs> so choose wisely but uh, <laughs> if you have really a lot of gold and you're searching for that uh, one item yeah uh, it can always be come in handy mm. so yeah and another little thing is that uh, it can also restock the shop yeah so if you if for some reason you bought uh, the entire shop you can always <laughs> re-roll and Buy the entire shop again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's cool. Mm, so yeah, I think uh, that's all for the production phase. Uh, maybe you can uh, uh, yeah all the uh, the new things. Um, so maybe you can build uh, stuff and buy stuff for your heroes. Uh, um, so. There's a question, does the shop reward scale with the item rarity or nights or it's always 10 for the first one every day? Yeah, it's always 10 for the first one every day. So we want it to be uh, very accessible uh, for uh, the beginning of the run and uh, yeah, I think uh, at the end of the run you you will be able to, uh, to reward it twice uh, without getting expensive, uh, so yeah. Uh, all, all these changes are, are for um, 
we wanted to uh, the shop to be an uh, option for, uh, for the town building. So yeah, you don't have maybe to uh, to buy a blacksmith or a building like that and just focus on the shop. And it was the uh, option uh, missing for uh, this uh, to be viable. Uh. So yeah, <laughs> you are using uh, the seer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yes, I think we can go start the wave. Yeah, we can. Uh, oh, okay, is there, is there well positioned? Oh, it's... Uh, and you didn't uh, <laughs> decrease the, the fog? Uh, no, I, I didn't have uh, enough, okay. <laughs> enough workers for that, so yeah. Maybe that's gonna be a bit more, a little bit difficult, but we'll see. Uh, so, uh, I will read uh, another question. Um, so, as you are introducing more enemies, is there going to be a lot more variety of enemies each night, or will there still be some nights where you fight a large amount of only 5 or 4 enemies? Uh, 5 or 5. Oops, sorry. Uh, yeah, so for now, all enemies, uh, we try to stay uh, at the same uh, count of enemies, different type of enemies in the night, so I think uh, you will uh, have a lot of waves with uh, four or five uh, different enemies, but yeah, we will see uh, as uh, our access goes uh, how we uh, introduce our new maps, so maybe there will be some maps with a lot of uh, different enemies in wave and uh, some with less. Uh, we are still experimenting on this, so yeah, for now it's uh, like that, but uh, maybe uh, <laughs> On another update, uh, we will uh, rework that. Uh, so yeah, for this update, uh, just uh, the same amount of uh, different enemies, just uh, a lot more variety in wave. So as we can see, we have a ghost, uh, sorry, a cursed on uh, on this wave uh, with a reworked uh, behavior. Also, yeah. so now uh, we can show. Uh, or maybe we just uh, let him uh, attack us. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, we thought it uh, it, uh, it could be pretty fun to uh, see the accursed uh, attacking the mana uh, pool from the player. So yeah, they will drain some mana from heroes instead of attacking uh, the health. Yeah. So it can be uh, pretty dangerous for uh, for mage, uh, as uh, we said uh, earlier, where we try to add mechanics that can uh, uh, make the game tougher for range and uh, magic uh, uh, heroes. So here they are, a cast uh, are, are done for that. Mm. And um, yeah, I think uh, <laughs> I've said uh, about it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I think that's it for the mm. curse. Oh yeah, and I think the accursed uh, will not drain your mana because you are inside the city. I don't know. We will see. <laughs> there are some special uh, conditions. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you, Birikanos, uh, <laughs> for your kind words. Okay, uh, so yeah, we are doing pretty well. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so. so a lot of enemy wounded ah. and uh, some uh, special. Uh <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, now now the game begins. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, who, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we, we introduced this, uh, this update uh, elite enemies. Uh, so here uh, there are we have an elite flower. Um, basically, uh, an elite enemy is, uh, is uh, the normal enemy with increased uh, attributes. Uh, so, increased health, increased armor. Uh, we, we didn't increase the uh, resistance or dodge or things like that. Uh, just uh, this. And uh, elite enemies have a special effect. Uh, we call it affixes, uh, uh, like uh, items. And uh, yeah, it will change your way of uh, fighting this enemy uh, because there is something special about his gameplay. For, for example, uh, this uh, Clover will uh, return a flat amount of damage uh, on uh, our hero. And to see the current amount, you have to over uh, it. So yeah, each time a hero will attack this enemy, it will take uh, 25 uh, 
the mage. Yeah, which is uh, nearly as much as uh, being hit by a clover. Yeah. So for <laughs> example, here if I try to hit it, uh, yeah, I just took damage. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, you, you will have to uh, choose carefully which heroes can uh, attack this enemy because, uh, uh, like for example, our melee guy uh, can be really uh, effective at attacking uh, this uh, this clover and uh, boom. <laughs> yeah, and so yeah, you, you can already notice uh, the big amount of health uh, that the clover has. Uh, and that it's gonna take us uh, at least three or four attacks to bring it down. Yeah, so the, the intention was to create uh, some uh, uh, mini bosses in wave uh, to yeah, create another dynam dynamic in uh, tactics and uh, everything like that. So, yeah, I hope it will work and uh, bring some uh, fun, uh, fun strategies and uh, yeah. All the effects are procedural, uh, every enemy uh, can have all the effects and uh, for example with the effect uh, we have uh, uh, so uh, an effect that uh, uh, allows the enemy to play twice, twice in his turn. Uh, we have uh, some reinforced attributes like uh, Clover with 10 move points or something like that. <laughs> uh, we can have uh, regenerative monsters like uh, every turn they will uh, regenerates 30% uh, of the uh, HP so yeah a lot of fun stuff and uh, um, all uh, elites are now uh, present in waves so uh, the first night to have an elite is the day 5 for uh, Lake Berg but in Gavel is different and uh, yeah we will try to uh, improve the system with one of uh, over updates and uh, yeah maybe uh, introduce a new uh, risk and reward system with them uh, we will see but uh, yeah it's the beginning of uh, something uh, <laughs> yeah for the rest of the game yeah um, I, I, I think uh, yeah yeah, maybe, you can, uh, yeah I think the, the main objective of the updates <laughs> <laughs> was uh, be it with the wounds the new enemies or the uh, elite enemies was to bring a little bit more uh, diversity in uh, how you fight against uh, the waves uh, in the game, so have a bit more different uh, strategies or dynamics in uh, who do I target or uh, how do I deal with the enemies or how do I deal with this and uh, to bring a lot more uh, different ways to approach it and be like, oh, maybe I have to focus this enemy even though they are far away because they will uh, do that or this or are more dangerous and so yeah shake up kind of uh, how you deal with the waves yeah Garwood said uh, it I bet that's three really tough again multi characters so yeah it's really really <laughs> tough uh, I don't recommend you to use a multi attacks or and crossbow on, uh, on elite monsters with uh, mirror shield uh, yeah uh, can the poison from Opera Explosion be dodged or blocked in any ways? So yeah, it can be dodged, uh, blocked no, but uh, we show we showed earlier uh, an item that can um, dispel, uh, remove all your negative effects. So yeah, as uh, Victor uh, show us, uh, cleanse uh, can. Uh, Heal you from the poison. Uh, maybe you can use it on your hero because he's poisoned. <laughs> yeah, ah, I am. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's one way to deal with it. Uh, otherwise, you, uh, yeah, like we said, uh, you can dodge it because you can dodge the attack from the from the hopper. Uh, and uh, another way will be to just have a lot of health regen. <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, or, or just yeah. a potion. Uh, yeah, or uh, potions. So yeah, there's uh, quite a few ways to deal with it, but yeah, it's uh, it's not outright uh, damage like the other monsters, but it's another threat to your health. Hmm. Even though I don't think you will often die only from poison, <laughs> but uh, just getting you a bit closer to... Just making you some chip damage can be quite effective and scary. 
Uh, just logged in. What the frog doing? Uh, he's pitting <laughs> on your heroes. So yeah, poisoning your heroes and uh, buffing the enemies uh, when there is no heroes. And uh, when they die, they explode. Uh, and uh, yeah, buff all uh, nearby enemies uh, in resistance. Oh yeah, pretty dangerous enemies, but uh, they have no little health uh, compared yeah. to other enemies. They are quite easy to uh, yeah bring down, but <laughs> yeah, you have to you have to be careful about when you bring them down because you have to find the right opportunity where they will not buff too many uh, adjacent uh, enemies. <laughs> Um, so, can enemy, uh, any enemy be an elite right now? Bulky elite seems very cool. <laughs> yeah, so for now, no, uh, not all enemies can be elite because uh, we need time to make them all elite. Uh, because, uh, as you maybe saw, uh, Elite Towers was really cool uh, in this visual, and we tried to make this for all enemies. Have, uh, a gory version of themselves yeah. and uh, yeah it takes us times uh, and so for now we have 10 enemies I think uh, for this update uh, in uh, elite version and uh, yeah so the goal is to have them all um, and for the bulky we thought uh, for now even if we had the visual uh, we didn't uh, want to to put uh, one bulky uh, elite in the wave because it, very, it will be very strong and uh, maybe for a further map uh, there is be uh, <laughs> bulky's uh, elite but uh, yeah for now yeah we we didn't really know uh, how much of a threat uh, elite yeah. enemies would be and so <laughs> it's kind of scary to uh, have an enemy that is already very tanky and make them elite so we for now uh, enemies as uh, strong as the bulky don't have uh, elite variants uh, but yeah we will see um, how players deal with uh, the actual elites and uh, see uh, mm. um, how we, yeah really? how, really? that's yeah. gonna be mm. some insight into how we design <laughs> uh, the next elites so yeah again don't hesitate to to make feedbacks uh, about what you play uh, it really uh, helps us uh, a lot to uh, what we are doing because uh, testing the game, we are testing the game a lot, but uh, it takes us a really, uh, a really great amount of time. And uh, yeah, we are kind of, kind of uh, biased by our, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because we know all about the game. So yeah, it's uh, pretty uh, complex. <laughs> Oh, the vampire uh, Pax is doing a great job. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's one other way to combat poison. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> just regen. Oh, <laughs> does changing gear still screw up the HP mana for that character? Actually, no. It's one of the new uh, things we we've done for this update. So we managed to uh, fix that problem. So there is uh, another uh, overall problem. Uh, it's less frustrating than before, but when you will um, equip or unequip an item, you will lose or gain uh, the amount that the, the item would have to give you. Uh, yeah. I don't know how to explain. If you equip an item that gives you plus 20 health, uh, you will gain plus 20 health in the max and in the current. So if your heroes had uh, 100 health uh, out of uh, 100, you will have uh, 120 uh, HP. Yeah, I think it's... Uh, yeah. So, few, uh, so yeah, there is a case where you can uh, kill your hero uh, by uh, removing his, item, uh, his items. So we uh, we fixed this problem by uh, letting the hero with only one HP. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, our solution for the problem. Yeah. So yeah, basically it's kind of like uh, every item with which gives their health uh, has their health bar uh, kind of linked to them. So like yeah. it's 
if you if you give the 20 HP, you, you get the 20 HP. But if you remove uh, mm. the item, you also lose the 20 HP in both uh, yeah. stats. So yeah. I, I think uh, in RPGs, uh, it's always a different solution for this uh, problem, and uh, yeah. It's also uh, a lot of uh, games do that, but are uh, in, real in real time, so you, you can't really have the same solutions uh, when it's real time, so it's hard to find a good balance. So yeah, you're right, uh, Bob Meister, uh, this is the right, uh, yeah. You're right. <laughs> so I was going. Uh, we yeah, will I not have the S rank. <laughs> yeah, one uh, one of the sides was kind of tough for the, <laughs> for just the nature. So yeah, maybe for the next turn you can turn on the turbo mode. Uh, oh yeah, I can. <laughs> so I bound it to space, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So yeah, you can activate turbo mode and uh, yeah, it's faster. <laughs> so, but however, yeah, I only recommend it if you uh, know what's gonna happen because as you as you can see, uh, you don't really see exactly all that happens. So I only recommend it if you're uh, kind of a veteran player and want to. Mm. Uh, Go really fast. <laughs> yeah, and also we improved uh, the camera for this update. Uh, like the, uh, the camera is now more dynamic, and um, yeah, there should be no longer uh, enemies doing uh, stuff uh, outside the camera. And uh, yeah. Oh, and you're very right. Uh, yeah, there is. Uh, <laughs> there was one runner uh, sneaking uh, into the magic circle, but it's okay. You killed him. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, uh, no longer must have uh, confidence. Yeah, you should not uh, have this problem anymore. <laughs> so, yeah, if you want a sneak peek uh, for our next update, uh, you can uh, read the blog post. Uh, at the end, uh, we uh, posted uh, some screens from. Uh, uh, our new uh, perk uh, uh, visualization, like uh, in the directly in the HUD uh, from the heroes. So yeah, you can see uh, in the blog post. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, as we said, yeah. hunters can be pretty. Oh, there is a center. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Send us here. Yeah. About to, to die, but uh, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, we are, we are French. Uh, sorry for uh, my bad accent. <laughs> it's uh, really bad. <laughs> but yeah, we are French uh, from the north of the France, and uh, yeah, in uh, Roubaix, <laughs> that's the city. <laughs> Yeah, and so, uh, yeah, I think we already talked a bit about that, so, but, uh, yeah, the um, wound display also works for heroes, so you can easily see uh, if your heroes are wounded, uh, because that's something you, maybe before you didn't catch, but, uh, yeah, so, and you also, yeah, you, so, be careful with that. <laughs> Uh, and so yeah, maybe we can show since we're in production phase uh, the thing with the health and mana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we found uh, an item. Uh... Yeah. So yeah, here uh, elite enemies give quite a lot of XP for just one of them. Yeah. So that's also something. Mm. That's nice. Yeah. Greeting from Argentina. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Not a very common uh, country from uh, our. Uh... Commentary. <laughs> so, yeah, do we have? So yeah, hunter attack every turn. One turn for charging up, and second they attack. Yeah, that's right. But if you are too close to them, they will uh, shoot at you uh, in one turn just uh, to uh, make them not stupid. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, if if you're too close to them, they will uh, attack immediately, but with a, a weaker attack. So. 
you kind of have the choice to, okay, mm. do I go melee with them? Uh, so they use their basic uh, Shoot, yeah. attack, but mm. uh, and if you stay too far away, they will use their charged attack, but it is uh, way stronger. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. health. oh, I just read the. Uh, <laughs> I feel the Santa hat clover should be an elite type too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe throwing uh, explosive uh, gift. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, here uh, for mm. example, I have 83 out of 133 health, uh, and if I equip this, here I gained uh, 20 in both stats. And if I unequip it, uh, I'm back to where I was. Hmm. So yeah, you <laughs> there's no uh, strange exploits anymore or something like that. Uh, there's a kind of an exploit if you're at one health, but that's uh, for VHP it gives. It's not uh, very interesting. <laughs> so, so we were okay with that because yeah, it's, we, we think for now it's the best solution. Yeah. And so, yeah, so, so that you don't feel uh, scammed uh, <laughs> of your health when you equip and unequip uh, pieces of equipment. So, yeah, Garwood, Garwood asked, uh, is there a way to see visually if a hunter has charge? So, yeah, yeah, you, you can see in this interface uh, a little arrow, uh, purple mm -hmm. arrow to, uh, to signify uh, that he's charged up and uh, ready to shoot. Yeah. Uh, do the twisted uh, do the same thing? Yeah, <laughs> but uh, more dangerous uh, because it's an uh, AOE, so you will uh, shoot a laser, I think. Yeah. yeah, laser in front of him, but instead of, uh, of the enter, he will move uh, between yeah. the charge, so it's not uh, just um, waiting at this position, uh, so yeah, it can be pretty uh, dangerous. Yeah, so just to clarify for uh, those who, who don't know, so the Twisted is uh, the fourth new enemy of the update. Uh, but you will encounter them in Glenvold. Yeah, for uh, now. For now. <laughs> <laughs> Best plans for that. Uh, but yeah, so they're a um, very late game enemy uh, on the same power level as the Bulky. And so yeah, they also have a charged attack mechanic. Um, and will cast a very dangerous uh, laser spell. So yeah, yeah be very <laughs> careful around them. <laughs> and yeah, they will not hesitate to uh, shoot uh, their ally. <laughs> yeah, they are very cruel. <laughs> so yeah, do we have uh, anything else to show? Um, I don't know. I think we we make the. We, we showed uh, all the new things and uh, yeah, okay. I think it's good. Um, yeah, I don't know if we do. <laughs> we'll come. Um, okay, so if you have question, uh, you can ask us. Uh, if you are not live, you can join our Discord. Uh, we are uh, on it, so yeah, we answer regularly uh, all your questions or if you have uh, bugs. Uh, and yeah, don't hesitate to follow us on Twitter also, or things, all the social media. Uh, yes, and uh, are all the enemies made? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think there I, I don't think so, so. There is no gender, I think. No, yeah. no, no, there is clovers uh, that can be female. I don't know. I, I didn't ask us, so <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh. So, yeah, I, I, I think they are. So, anyway, they are kind of distorted by the mist, so it's really hard to, <laughs> hard to tell. But I think uh, as long as they're soldiers, they should be. <laughs> Um, mm. Do you have a date in mind for moving out of our access? Uh, for now, no. Uh, we planned, uh, we planned uh, in June to be in our access for one year, but we'll see uh, yeah, at the beginning of the year what we are doing. So, yeah, that's it. I think uh, we will uh, stop the live and uh, if you have a question, uh, don't hesitate to ask us on Discord and uh, yeah, have uh, a good day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye.